Welcome to my knowledge. In today's video, we will discuss how to model a bolt in 3D. We'll start from a circle. Radius of the circle was 5. Then we will convert it into a cylinder by extruding it up to 25 units. Let's see it in shaded. We'll draw a helix from the bottom point, 5 radius, then the top radius will be 5 as well, a center, a height, the height of the turn is suppose 1. Let's suppose it's one unit. Enter and select the top and the helix is ready. Now after completing the helix, we will find the right view for sweeping along this helix. Uh, I think this is the right view. Mm. This is now correct view. I'll click on view make this area uh, this plane as XY plane because we can only draw in XY plane isolate and hide the internal object cylinder so we can see the helix make a rectangle uh, I'm just uh, randomly setting its width and height I think it's good enough. Now I'll move it from the center point. It is called geometric center and place it on the helix, end of the helix. Now rotate it by clicking on it. Enter. Now about its geometric center, I will rotate it. So the corner of the box lies on the line. We'll sweep it now. Sweep was discussed in previous video after sweeping it the helix will be formed now i will again unhide the in internal cylinder it's easy to unhide just right click isolate end object isolation and here we have the cylinder now we will subtract the helix from that cylinder type subtract enter select the cylinder now the helix and here we have the threaded area of the bolt For rotating, just hold shift and the uh, center mouse button and move the mouse. Now I will just draw the head of the bolt. For drawing that, first thing I have to do is to make this XY. then I'll use polyline to draw the head of the bolt <coughs> I 
uh, eight units upward then another eight units in horizontal direction instead of joining this point to make sure it is uh, five uh, uh, at five distance from the center I'll just move from center point up to five units in horizontal direction then in vertical direction until I intersect the upper horizontal line then I will trim the extra line or excess line now actually I want to rotate this uh, region or these lines to make the head of the bolt before uh, joining it and rotating it I think I should fill it and chamfer it I'll just fill it its top corner fill it radius of 1 then select the lines that's it I will fill it the lower corner as well now I will chamfer uh, the lower corner distance D 0.5.5 distance from each side and here we go the portion is complete now I will just select all the lines and join them by J. I'll re revolve them about this axis, these two points. The center 360 to be sure and enter. So the bolt with circular head is ready we can knurl it using the helical uh, command if you know knurling you, uh, we can knurl, uh, do the knurling by helical command and using mirror but uh, if you want to make uh, octagonal head uh, it can also be done just place the origin using this UCS at the center be sure I am just using origin by placing origin of the uh, coordinate system and then directing Z axis upward vertically upward so the plane part of the uh, head of the bolt is now XY I can draw anything I want on this let me draw a circle on it so you can see now the coordinate 0 0 is center of this bolt it's just a random circle it has nothing to do with the bolt just to show you now to draw a hexagon or octagon I will just click on the poly uh, polygon select eight sides you know, inscribed circle let it be 10 or 11 10 will be good enough I think 
you can draw it up to exact dimensions that you want currently I'm just uh, showing you how to make a bolt so I'm assuming many dimensions now it's very easy just extrude this octagon downwards extrude and ex extrude it up to uh, the dimension that you think is good enough let us see I think 5 should be good enough uh, yeah 5 should be good enough so the bolt is ready we just have to union uh, the parts type union I will union all the parts together to make it one object just like this now the bolt is ready we can see the bolt in other weaves as well let's just fill it the edges it's the same as we did in 2d let me fill it all the edges So the edges are done you can do the lower edges as well if you don't want to leave it so uh, let's change it to realistic you can see the change in the color of the model now I want to render it uh, or change its texture you can change the texture very easily to make it look more realistic I will go to visualize from there you can browse materials we have a lot of material in the library uh, let me select metal in, met in metal I will go for stainless steel and polished stainless steel you can see that in the preview as well just pick and drag it on the model and here you go you can change the texture or you can modify it as well you can turn it on and off turn it off click here to turn it on again just go back there and click on on it's very easy Now let's check how to change its properties like burst I can change it to aluminium polished semi polished I can change it to chrome I can change the relief pattern you can play with it as much as you want you 
can change the contours as well you can change the color as well to change the color it's very easy click on it and drag it to change the color now let's select metallic paint uh, check select red and place it over here so this is how it looks that's it for today's video we learned how to make a bolt in 3d in autocad hope you guys liked it kindly subscribe my channel stay safe at home thank you